through the roof. I just opened my eyes. Literally, when I went to my DMs, the unread messages, there was like, I would say, give or take, 1,500 comments to me or questions to me or I don't know whatever questions per se so I need to drink my tea so I need to find me my robe string um so basically I wanted to go live because you guys are assuming a lot of things. And I know you guys are excited. I'm really excited. You know, I said to myself the other day, Natalie, you've been in this industry for literally 13 years. Um, when I come back to L.A. because I do not live here anymore... It's like a second home to me. You know, I know every street, I know every back road, I know every restaurant, I know every ducked out place in LA. And basically where I'm going with this is like, when it comes to this industry shit, I know what the fuck I'm doing. Because when I had my opportunity to be on Bad Girls Club season four, which was my very first, um, you know, series show, I took that opportunity <clears throat> and I ran with it and I made it into what I am in this industry today an executive producer show creator and um also still on camera and i'm not tooting my own horn i've gotten my flowers from some of your favorite favorite stars i have a very very funny story i'm going to tell you guys on live in a minute and from last night <laughs> um but I have put in a lot of work. So when I get DMs, and this is where I'm going with all this, when I get DMs from you guys asking or referring to the cast that hasn't even been revealed yet, I just need you guys to understand that before TV, I am a Division One athlete. I have two degrees from the University of Southern California, right up the road here, with a minor in Spanish. And I'm no dummy. I'm not dumb. Matter of fact, I'm really smart. I'm really, really smart. <laughs> I like to read books on my downtime. Um, books from leaders. Um, I take online business classes that you guys don't even know about that they offer for alumni that went to USC just to tidy up some of my business, marketing, e-commerce classes. And so <clears throat> I would be flipping hair right now, but it's in this bonnet. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is I got thousands of DMs about potential cast members for the new season of Bad Boys Club. And truly what I want to say to you guys is just trust me. Just believe in me. Just support me. Um, it's really hard as it is for African-American women in this industry to prosper, to to make something out of nothing. Bad Girls Club was just supposed to be a show that every season they just find new girls and just keep moving on. Nobody was supposed to be 
anywhere close to a star from the Bad Girls Club. Nobody. Nobody was supposed to even, it was supposed to be next group, next, bring the next batch in, next, 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 next. And along the way, I actually wanted to say that I do pat myself on the back. I do. I can give you a couple of reasons, but, you know, for a long time, I, I really negotiated and redlined a lot of my own, own contracts. Do you guys ever wonder why Bad Girls Season 4, my season that I was on, or I say I think the other one was 13, Redemption maybe, those are not on Hulu or Netflix or whatever. They're only on the third, the, the, the streaming platform, uh, Peacock, which is owned by Oxygen because they actually own those shows, you know. But at one point in my career, I said, I looked at a contract and I said, you guys have all rights to sell to a third party or license these shows forever. Said forever. And we'll never get a dime. Red line. Can you guys elaborate on that? No. No. I don't agree. I want a percentage if you ever sell this in 30 years from now down the line. To any third party network. To any licensing anything. I want some money. The fuck? Hmm. It's interesting, you know? Things are just gotta make gotta make decisions and right ones in this industry or they will eat you the fuck alive. Spit you out, find someone new, and move on. And you know what? I didn't let them do me like that. I said I'm gonna come in this industry ten toes down. I'm gonna work really, really hard. Because I like to work. I'm not a lazy bum bitch. I'm not a lazy bitch. I like the fuck to work. I'm a Capricorn. The fuck? I'm a Capricorn. Okay? I made a lot of decisions along the way to be where I'm at. A lot of great decisions. Smart decisions. Business decisions. And I'm just saying. So, when I get all these DMs just asking me like, like questioning me. It's okay to ask questions. I'm reading a great book. It's a John Maxwell book right now. And it's um, it's called Great Leaders Ask Questions. It's literally what the book is called. So I love when you guys ask me questions about Hollywood or the industry. I really want my, my, my string. And whatnot. But <clears throat> anyways. So let me tell you guys a funny story last night. You're going to fucking die. So... Day one of Bad Boys Club happened yesterday. You guys know that. You see it all on uh, Lemmy Plummer, the owner of the Zeus Networks. Instagram, it's making headlines. You guys are assuming all these people are on the cast. Just wait until we announce the cast. I mean, you guys are going to get it. You know how quick Zeus is. You're going to get it. So listen, last night, um, we go out to dinner, the executive producers and the producers and some of the people from Zeus. Um, and, um, and then well, I was just slid off the bed. We had a, a friend join us at dinner. Now, let me tell you a funny story, guys. This is story time for one second. The people at Zeus and why I also have a very good relationship with everyone there is because I have known Lemmy Plummer, um, a, a small group of us <clears throat> from when I was out here going to college, like we all came up together. <laughs> like you don't even fucking know. Teen, I was out here playing soccer on the USC soccer team. It was Brandon T. Jackson, it was Lemmy Plummer, it was Elijah Kelly, and we all lived in the same apartment complex. And I remember we were all like, what are we gonna do? Like, we all wanna be in movies and act acting. And then Brandon, 
T. Jackson got his first break. And we were all like friends. And Brandon started, you know, let me let me put you on. Let me, you'll be my cameraman. Here, I'm going to buy you a good, cool camera. You run around and film me. That's how I met Lemmy Plummer. Now, sitting at a table, he's the richest one at the table. It was like the joke last night. He started as the cameraman. And I was just a USC soccer player. I used to go to class, come back to the apartment complex we all lived in. This is when I first met Marcus Polk. Megan Good was filming Waist Deep. We're all hanging out. We're all young little stars out here. And then where I'm going to is Evan Ross becomes like best friends with the group. Like he's best friends with Lemmy Plummer, Daryl, um, who's also uh, an e executive producer and, and uh, owns a, a great, huge consulting company at Zeus. Elijah Kelly, all of us. And and um, last night, Evan Ross came to dinner. Evan's like, he's, he's across the table. We have this big table. And Evan's looking at me. He's going like this. And I'm like, what, Evan? He was like, man, you know I support y'all. Y'all, we all came up together. I got Zeus. I got Zeus because of Lemmy. I keep almost sliding off the bed. And he goes, and I'm clicking on the Zeus snap. <clears throat> And I turn to my wife and I'm like, oh, I know this girl. That, that's my friend. That's Natalie. And he clicks it and he puts it on and he's like, and you were fighting. You were fucking fighting, Natalie. And I looked at Evan and I said, Evan, you always knew I was with this shit. Stop playing now. He's like, no, you were a college USC soccer player when I met you. I said, yeah, but I used to throw down on the soccer field too, Evan. So it was funny because, you know, it's like, you evolve, but at the same time, you know, as an executive producer now and also being on camera, you know what people want to see. You know, you know what people want to see. And I just think you guys should trust me in this point. Like, you know, I know what you guys want to see. So why am I getting like thousands of DMs from you guys? Thousands of matter of, fact, matter of fact, let me show you guys. I actually took a really cool picture of the crew um, from last night. Yeah, it was so cool. They all look, they're all like, it was great. Best dinner. It was super dope. Uh, it was great seeing everybody at dinner last night. But anyways, so um, that was a little story time. But what was I saying? Um, you know I know what you guys want to see. So why do you guys question me? weird huh I don't get it so yeah I'm in my and then uh, <clears throat> someone said something about Elijah I just saw pop up Elijah and I Elijah and even were both on the star together I'm so proud of Elijah, so proud of all of them, everybody. And they, they made this whole thing about me last night, and they just were like, we're so proud of Natalie. She's a boss. Everybody the table was, like, standing up speaking, and it was super cute because, honestly, like, I just look back, and, like, I have literally been going hard for 13, 14 years. Like, you know, I know exactly how this industry works. Exactly. I know exactly what... You know, it's like men lie, women lie, but numbers 100% don't lie, guys. Besides that, when you have the numbers in your back pocket, the best thing next is to be business savvy, business smart. Um, you know, ugh, have the best connections. Uh, don't be negative. Don't have a, a problem with everything. Like, I know you guys see one side of me on, on TV, which is cool, and I've never really allowed you guys into to see a reality show with Natalie Nunn and, and, and all of that. But I will tell you guys, at the end of the day, I've made a lot of very smart business moves to be where I am. And I'm not just res referring to the Zeus Network. You know, I'm referring to another big breakout thing in my career was doing Celebrity Big Brother in London. And... <clears throat> And and um, I don't know if you guys ever knew I had the tea party with Natalie Nunn where I executive produced my own talk show on Film On, another streaming platform that wasn't that big at the time. 
um, streaming platforms weren't big at the time, but it was huge. Owned by billionaire Alki David. Like, you know, you got to make smart decisions and you got to be the type of person that people want to work with across the board. And, and, and just for instance, like if you didn't make season one, don't be negative about it. We have so many seasons to come. So many seasons to come. Season two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> it's, like, it's okay. Support us. Support me. Support the brand. Um, download Zeus. Talk about Zeus. Post Zeus. Stay in my comments. Stay in my section. Stay on my lives. Um, nobody goes unnoticed. You know, um, your opportunity. It, 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 it's it's everybody. Everybody. How can I say this? Everybody, you, if you keep knocking, eventually someone will open the door. And that's that's the beauty of the Bad Boys Club. I've wanted this show for so long, and every door was closed. Nobody wanted to do it. I kept knocking, and finally the Zeus Network opened up the door. And do you know how I felt yesterday? Day one, happy, blessed. I'm literally telling you, nobody wanted the Bad Boys Club. And it's about to be the biggest fucking show. But am I mad at WeTV, Oxygen, Lifetime, all the networks I worked at and had meetings pitching this to them after I would do series shows for them? No, I'm never mad. Thank you so much for this meeting. Thank you so much for this opportunity. If anything changes, if you guys feel differently down the road, if you guys decide to go in a different direction, please think about this show. Think about me. My number has never changed. <laughs> I didn't been in L.A. They don't even make my area code in L.A. no more phone number. They didn't change it to some other shit. So it's just like keep knocking. Don't like... Oh, stupid bitch didn't cast me the fuck hoe, blah, blah. Like, what? Huh? If I had that attitude, bad boys wouldn't be here today. If I had that attitude, every time a network told me, I'm like really looking for my tie. If I had that attitude, every time one of them networks told me, all them traditional networks told me no to bad boys, it wouldn't be here today. All I'm saying, because I'm not finna preach to y'all, y'all not, look, I'm a whole mother to journey pain. I'm not finna be y'all mamas right now. But what I'm gonna say is, um, your opportunity is, is, is right there. Your opportunity is always right there. You just gotta keep going. It's just called, it's, it's about timing. It's about timing. Sometimes timing, and you can't question timing. Okay, you can't question that. But when the time is your time, you're gonna know you're gonna know it. It's my time. Like it's my time. It's my time. So that's it. Like I I I I'm like I woke up to thousands of DMs this morning. I mean thousands. Thousands of DMs. You know what I'm saying? Thousands. Only reason I have this filter on right now, because my skin been motherfucking hitting, bitch. <laughs> my skin been hitting. Only reason I have this filter on, though, is because I have, like, black leftover eyeliner from last night. And that's the last night of me going out. I can tell you that right now. My 9 a.m. workouts officially starting. Super excited to be training with my new trainer. But to get back on, why did I get off to just get back? Y'all already stole my live and posted it on the blogs. Like, I got off to come back on. And it already stole my, 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 I'm already on the blogs. My live in my Zeus robe is already on. Take it down. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> I just got on live. Princeton, you finna get in trouble, bro. What is you doing on live? Princeton, 
You know what? I'm going to tell your daddy. I'm adding my nephew to the live. Princeton, except what auntie just sent you. You about to be in so much trouble. Accept it. Princeton, where's your daddy? Shut up. Yeah. Princeton. Yeah. Princeton, why, where are your teeth playing? What happened to your teeth? Princeton, you're not supposed to be on. <laughs> Princess, you having a party at the crib? <laughs> Wait, are you having a party at the crib? Why are all your friends yeah. over? It's, it's 10 a.m. I know. Okay, you're, you're being crazy. It's tight on me. You're, you're being crazy. Wait, where, 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 where are the parents? Oh, they're right here. <laughs> I'm always trying to check. Um, hi, we're live. Is, is, oh. is, is he allowed to do that? Woo. <laughs> you look so cute. Is he allowed to be live? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. What? <laughs> I'm going to have a pack, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Um. Okay. All right. You out? You say you outside? No. no. I'm in hey, hey I'm put the house. camera up. Put the camera up and show me a new dance. Show me one of the new dances that's going around. No, we about to. We about to. We about to do a nurse battle. I, oh, oh, a nurse. But I thought you could show Auntie one of the new cool dances. Like mm -hmm. Auntie, you know, show Auntie one of the new cool dances that's going around. All right. All right. Show me something cool. What you got for me? Back right. up a little more. Back up a little more. <laughs> like, what? This guy is crazy. Can you hear me? No, she didn't. Yeah, I can hear you. Princeton, what are you doing? Hey, we're about to have another bottle. What is this head of hair? Bye bye. Bye bye. And there it goes. I need to go. I need to go. I need to go play Nerf battle. Where are your teeth? I lost them. Okay, guys. Um, I guess they're allowed to be live. They're allowed to be doing this stuff. Um, so look, moral of my live today was y'all are going in in these DMs. Y'all are going in in these DMs. Natalie, when was the last time you talked to Lil Kim? Lil Kim is, uh, Lil Kim is my sis. Okay. That's sis. That's big sis right there. Um, I always talk to Kim. We'd be on FaceTime. <laughs> you know, I love my I love my bad bitches. I love all my bad bitches. I respect all the bad all the bad bitches who get it in this industry after a decade. You ain't if you here longer than a decade, bitch. You get a lot of you get a lot of respect for me. This industry will eat you up. How these bitches depressed, crying, memes go around about them. They're depressed. They got anxiety. They can't sleep. It hurts their feelings. They go down and get up. Yeah. Anybody in this industry more than 10 years, I got nothing but love and respect for you, especially the females. Shit is not easy. But it be looking like it's just a party, huh? Look like it be tired as fuck. Ain't slept in weeks. <laughs> Um, there's a, um, a lemon, a seed in my tea. So, add Christina. Where's Christina? 
Christina, come live with me. Where's Jersey? Oh, there she is. Hey, Jersey. What's up, Jersey? Happy belated birthday, like two weeks ago or a week ago. It's like every, hey, girl. Girl, I'm just using the bathroom. I'm just coming to say a brief hi, but I'm going to cover the whole Are you are you on the, are you on the toilet? I am on the toilet. Hi guys. <laughs> yes, I got Christina live with me on the toilet. Hey. <laughs> are you taking a piss or are you taking a shit? Uh, guys. <laughs> uh, guys, got to go. <laughs> I'm just saying hi, all right? Let me, like, I'm saying too, but let me go. Wait, wait, wait. What's up? What kind of toilet paper do you use? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is a clean, what, what? This is a clean booty boo -boo. Okay. <laughs> no paper here. Wait, Christina, I miss you. Miss you, too. I look crazy right now. I'm not sure my bitch. <laughs> bitch, I'm in a bonnet. Call me later then. My bitch. I don't know what's going on, but I'm about to get off this live. Y'all crazy. Um, BGCT 2020. It's your turn to go live. Girl, I'm call I'm getting on live all y'all for the next five minutes. BGCT 2020. Oh, declines. Nothing declines me. Fuck wrong with you. Lost your mind today. Where's Rolly? Rolly's in here. What's up, y'all? Let's add Rolly. Rolly has had me dying on that three part reunion. She ain't got no damn sense. Girl. Yo ass, the part that killed me was when the reunion continued for chance and you was just sitting up there with your wig off on the couch, bitch. Like, the conversation is over here, but when I seen the wide shot and I saw you just sitting over there with no wig on, bitch, I fell the fuck out. Something wrong with you. For real, something wrong with your ass. I'm Adam Rowley. Like, bitch, I had to call her and text her the other day. DMing her and everything like this, bitch. Motherfucking crazy. Girl, can't nobody what? fuck with me and my wig. What is, but you ain't fucking with <laughs> Kim Sense. Can't so nobody fuck with me you. and my wig. Look. Something for real wrong with you, girl. Let me tell you, I didn't want this bitch to rip my lace. I just had got that wig. That wig was brand new. I'm not fucking with it. Hell no. Put my shit in the dressing room now. <laughs> but bitch, I'm gonna tell you where you where where they got me, where Zeus got me, and you got me, was when the reunion kept going, and they did a wide shot, and it was like someone else on the stage talking to someone else, but you were just sitting there with your brain just going. Girl, on. just chilling, like, is we gonna continue, <laughs> bitch? And then when you got me was. When I guess the reunion was over, I don't even know. You was walking out to the back, and it, you were walking normal, like you was just get, exiting the stage. <laughs> when I tell you, everybody like, why is she smiling? Cause I find this shit funny. I really do find this shit funny. You just start snatching bitches up. I like she retarded. She retarded. It's it's, it's it's a lot that was going on off. You know, the show, whatever, too much. And I got tired of arguing over the internet. Ain't no point of screaming at each other. You know, we done already did this shit. We done did it on live. We done did it on the blogs. I'm not about to argue with nobody. I'm finna just fight. Like, that was just it. But I'm glad I entertained him. No, no, no. No, no, no. You saw my messages. I like, know. I like, <laughs> like in tears, bitch. Like, me and Jacob were, like, in the bed. And one day, it was, like, like late at night. And Zeus had posted some. Bitch, me and Jacob must have watched that clip like a hundred times <laughs> in fucking tears. <laughs> ah! 
I look, you gotta after you beat them, you gotta tease them a little bit. You no, know? no, bitch. When you were upstairs, because I know the studio where y'all shot, and you yeah. were upstairs in the glass, and it looks down, you started shaking your. Bitch, I said, she's fucking nuts. She bro. was pointing at me. She was like, get you, bitch. I was like, ah, ha, 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 bitch. Ha, ha. If y'all ain't seen the Chance Reunion show on the Zeus Network, like, I'm not, I'm really not finna fuck with y'all right now. If y'all haven't seen it, go watch it right now. Go watch. Like, For real. the shit was so fucking funny, bro. <laughs> no, like, I'm not fucking with you. Like, I, I can't. Like, that shit was too much. Like, my stomach from laughing so hard. Like, bro, it was so I know. The funny. way you was laughing in the inbox, I'm like, she is Dying right now. <laughs> Bitch, and me and Jacob were sitting in the bed like I almost rolled off the bed. I had tears coming down my face. Jacob was like, oh, she she retarded. She go crazy. Like, I you know, just kept you, going, bitch. <laughs> when you was just saying, like, you know, people got to have that, that, that mindset for reality TV. You got to know how to entertain, even though you're mad. Still entertain that crowd because people like that shit, period. Girl, they love it. It's in, we are in the entertainment industry. We're here to entertain people. And I get it. Some people outgrow that. You know, people make different career changes all the time. I decided in my career to stick with it. And, and it's done a lot of great things for me. That's what I'm saying. So at yes. this point, after 13, 14 years doing this shit, I, I wake up to mo this morning to like thousands of DMs, like about, you know, Baddie season two, Bad Boys Club. Everyone's excited. And I'm excited too. But like, some of them are like questioning, like, they just are assuming the cast for Bad Boys because we started. We haven't even announced the cast yet. Thing I'm is, like, y'all attacking me. Y'all should know if anybody. It would be like attacking somebody who didn't been doing their career for 13, 14 years. Y'all better leave Natalie alone because let me tell y'all one motherfucking thing. She's only one woman. She's only one woman. She cannot please all you motherfuckers. She I'm can't. tired too, bitch. Shit. I be motherfucking tired. <laughs> Mom fucking tired. Shit, you a business ah. woman. Shit. Did you um I uh remember how I sent you my lash box last time? Yes. We have a Valentine's Day one that I gotta get to you ASAP. Is it ah, yes. I heard you guys Hello. arguing on the reunion about your address. Are you still at, are you, or did you move? You got a new one or anything? Girl, I'm at the same address. Click clack waiting for a bitch to motherfucking ah, That's right. Swear to God. Yeah, bitch, that's I got the last thing you don't ever see. Ho. <laughs> That's the last thing she gonna ever see. She gonna remember her life. Bitch, I be saying the same thing. Like, Bitch, I like, hope you got all these toys and we ain't gotta use them. <laughs> like, pull up, ho. Pull up. <laughs> when I'm fucking playing with these bitches, a bitch is this was in my inbox. I said, Bitch, you come over here if you want to. That portion's gonna be the last thing you remember ever in your life. So, 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 okay. On the reunion, that was a thing that was happening on Chance. You guys go download and watch Zeus and watch. The three part, so you know if you haven't seen it, what we're talking about the chance reunion. So, Rolly, one of the girls leaked your address, or what happened? Like, for real, for real. We got it. Okay, so we was getting to it on Zeus Hottest Tea, and I had came out and said she had COVID during filming, and she got mad. And <laughs> she leaked my address. And Over you part, saying she had COVID? Yes, yeah, she did have COVID. So, um, she got mad because that got out. Um, the blog page was already talking about she was trying to sue somebody, and then I said it, and she got real, real mad. So she like, y'all go visit Roly. Um, y'all go visit Roly. She posted my a picture of the gated community I live in. Then she posted um how to get to my door because she don't know the door number. She posted that. Then she posted like a video of her like, yeah, y'all go visit Roly. She live in Las Vegas. Da -da 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 -da. If anybody knows Vegas gun laws, they know. Right. <clears throat> they know. So. Come over here if you want to. Come pay me a visit. But you know what? I got so many fans that love me. They fucking no for sure. Them. For sure. You you're they doing your thing, girl. Them. You're doing your thing. You're you you. Let me tell you something. You're doing your thing. You're 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 you're. I'm really proud of you. You're very you're 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 great. You're great. Um, Thank you. Keep doing your thing. I I I just saw one of the clips about the reunion because I I'll be able to watch it. But when I'm like packing my bags or. If I'm like in the middle of taking a shower, I'll put put it on my in my uh, on my TV in the bathroom. And yeah. I saw some like arguing about bitch, you leaked my address. And I was like, not leaking the address. Well, me and my kids, look, me and my kids sleep here. I have a child, I have a 13-year-old, and I got a pit bull. That's what <laughs> the only motherfuckers you're gonna see up in this house. You're not gonna put my kid, my kids, 
because my dog is my child too. Life in danger, but he gonna bite you like a bone, so I'm not worried That's about him. Period. <laughs> eat y'all I'm not But my child, nah. No, 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 no. Like recently, there was some stuff going on with the baddies from season one where one of the other girls, we, they had started a group chat and I was barely responding in it because I'm so sick of like being the bad guy and them recording and saying yeah. I said this and switching things up. I'm over it. So one of the girls from the, from the Bad Girls Cup leaked one of the other girls' addresses. And even though I wasn't fucking with that bitch at the time, and I'm not going to say names and all that because I, didn't, I don't want anyone to go look up her shit or whatever. I yeah. actually got back into the text messages and said, Bro, take that down off your story. Don't leave. It's just, just, it's, it's that's, all. That's something completely different. You know because what I'm after you, it just becomes like, there, there's got to be a line drawn. We are in the entertainment industry. The drama does trickle onto the social media. But like, yeah, girl, like, no, like, let's not play those kind of games. Because when somebody really does pull up to that crib or someone really do pull up to my shit, like, I got a whole nigga from the D in my motherfucking shit with a whole bunch of toys, and he can't wait to use his shit. Hmm. Hold up if you want to. Hmm. Like, he be, he be hmm. excited for someone to come. The I'm going to tell you how dangerous I really am. All that TV shit. That's why I be telling people it's for TV, but I'm a real hood bitch. I'm from South Central, and I was raised by niggas. I was not raised by I'm niggas. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to it. tell you. I'm like, there's got to be, like, a, like a there's got, we got to have, like, a... Okay, here's the line. Don't go over the yeah, line. Yeah, you can like put your toe to the edge of the cliff and be like, ah. Uh, but like once you jump, it's like you're done. Like you're done. That's you're what stick with 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 her. Family. So I'm her sorry that husband. happened to you. That's not like even though, cause you know, are you are you single, Rowley? Yeah, I'm single. So you're a single mother with your dog, which is one of your kids, and a 13 year old at the house. But you got your toy. You know, you know, gotta stay. He know, safe. He know how to use it too. That's right. <laughs> but it's like that. We, we got to be. Come on, guys. Like, it's never this deep and that serious. That's why when she said, I'm a mother, I'm like, you're a mother? What mother would put another mother's child in harm's way? I would never. No, I don't we just. Know. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. So I want to send you a lash box. I'm also having a, a, a Super Bowl weekend. I'm having an event out here for my last, um, the because it's all Valentine's Day week, and it's my Valentine's Day collection. So if you're in, I know you're out in um, Vegas, but if I'm only four hours away, so then I'm having a celebrity girls. I invited like um, uh, some of the girls like Megan and the Claremont twins, Jayla, Princess, Lyrica, you, some of the in-house Zeus girls. Like I would love for you guys to come to uh, you and some of the. Ch I don't know who's cool with who, so I don't want to. So you're gonna have to tell me. Um, I'm honestly. I don't know who's friends or something. There ain't gonna be no cameras. I don't want y'all fighting at the table. It's like it's, really look, honey. Thing. You know one thing about me. I know how to turn that shit on and off. I would never disrespect your event. I would never disrespect nobody's event. But um, I can't speak for the other women. But Slim, I'm cool with Slim and all the other girls besides Damo, Miko, and Wa. Other other than that, all the other ladies, I'm cool with. I don't even okay, care about cool. that. Yeah, because. You know who I also love from the show is uh, Yodala. Yeah, me and Yodala are cool. I don't think I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> I love Yodala too. See, I don't want because we already got our own bad girls club drama, so I I don't ever want to bring yeah yeah be stepping definitely. into the drama of other shows. But I like you. Uh, you're like one of my faves. <laughs> I love Yodala too, and I'm cool with um, Yasmin from other other seasons, just like from L.A. From like yeah, the, no, I'm, I can go with, with uh, both of them. And uh, yeah, so I would love for you to come and then I'll, I'll extend an invitation to some of the other girls um, that were on Zeus too. And it's going to be super cute. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. I will be there. Look. And then, and then um, I'll get you a lash box in the mail too, just so that you have your lashes. Cause I know you'd be loving the lashes, girl. I love lashes. Look, I be putting yeah. them on. I ain't going nowhere. Let me put my lashes on. That's right, <laughs> bitch. So, um, so. So my last question for you is, what's up with you and Chance? What's up? What what what's going on, bitch? Ain't up with me and Chance. Chance, Chance scared of this, this bomb motherfucking dot com. He's scared of it. I don't know why. I ain't going to kill you, nigga. Shit, let me just sit on it one time. <laughs> Not one time. One time. But he's like, scared. Let me just sit on it one time. <laughs> you know what, really, I'm going to be honest. Chance is like, 
he came into this industry when I came into this industry. And he has he is so entertaining. He's such a good guy. Mm -hmm. When I watch some of your guys' uh, clips on the show, I'm like, why would they be dogging him out like that? He's so he's so sweet. I think, you know, when you meet sweet like, guys that are really genuinely nice and funny and 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 have such like cute bubbly personalities, everyone just be fucking with him and bitches be trying to take advantage and walk all over him. Like I'd be like, why y'all so mean to him? A lot of like I said on the show, a lot of girls never sat down and had a conversation, a real conversation with Chance, not one of those. TV conversations like, oh, how long? Do you? No, we talk, talk. And him and Yoda love have that kind of relationship as well. So some of the girls don't see that about him, how sweet he is, how he is respectful. Um, but, you know, when people get on TV and he knows what he got to do for shock value, say things for shock value, funniness. If I have my own show, them niggas going to be getting, I'm going to be saying shit about the niggas too. Because it's fun. It's funny. If people don't know how to handle shit like that, they should not be on TV. But yeah. some women are so strongly within themselves, and I did understand um, where Skittles and Nadia, um, and I think Badabushi said something about what, you know, how they felt about him. I understood that. I most definitely did. But some women are too strong-minded, like men, to be like, oh, no, nah, nigga, you can't fucking say that shit about me if you're going to get away with it. But some women are like me. I find every goddamn thing funny. Like, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, because... I've had such great business conversations with Chance. He's so smart. He's been in this industry a long time. He's made a lot of money in this industry. That boy got some money. Don't sleep on Chance. He's also helped me in, in, in multiple ways, not just on the show, but words him out with people in the music industry. No, he for me, sure. He meetings with people. Like, Chance is really, really, really sweet. And like, he's really girl. genuine. Like, he, he, he'll be like, yeah, let me introduce you to, let me bring you over to VH1. Back. He, like, really like i don't understand how like and, and i'm so proud of uh, uh lemmy and zeus for actually like doing his love show again because i'd be like bro like that was genius chance was is great tv he is nobody understand he's great tv he's funny no, he's everywhere fun. i go people talk about zeus and they love chance and they watch your show and they personally say oh that girl really probably ain't be playing on that <laughs> Like, yes. Yes. So it's weird that the girls, when I watch the episode, because now it's like three seasons, just be like, damn, y'all be like so mean to him. I don't know. That's yeah. what like, they just be going Season out. one was the girls were perfect. We had the sweetest girls season one. And I feel like that's why everybody season, uh, you know, favorite season, season one, because we have the sweetest girls. Chance could talk to him. He wasn't joking on all of them. But the girls from season two, they was like niggas. <laughs> they crazy. Like, God damn it. But, yeah, I most definitely see the difference. But I'm about to get, be, I'm about to get like Christina. <laughs> get on this toilet. <laughs> I love you. Y'all are, y'all are crazy. Shout out to y'all Christina. Y'all taking y'all morning shits. <laughs> y'all all taking y'all morning shits. Um, Girl, too. Right, I, I love you. Love you. Just yeah, make sure you DM me your stuff so I can give you the information for where the dinner is at out here and uh, get you a box, another one to the house. Yes. Okay, boo. I almost definitely right. will. Happy Sunday. Mm -hmm. Happy Sunday. Bye, beautiful. Bye. I always got to tap in with my Zeus girls because I be having questions. So I know y'all be having some questions too, but I be like, girl, so what really happened? Did she really leak your address? Like, I need to know, Pat, what's going on? So, who else is in my live? Who else is in my live? I wanted to give y'all, everyone's putting toilet emojis. <laughs> like, stop. Who else is in my live? Who, who else do I need to tap in with? I think I saw Persuasion. I'm seeing all, all the baddies in the live. I need to go live with one of y'all. Oh, I gotta ask, is Janelle in my life? Where's Janelle at? Y'all tag Janelle. I gotta ask Janelle a question real quick. Somebody add Janelle. Add, um, wait, let me see. Y'all are so crazy. <clears throat> Soldier Girl is here. Yeah, from Ch I like Soldier Girl. I gotta follow some of y'all back because I had um, my Instagram be. It's crazy. I gotta. 
I was following her. I was looking up, keeping up. Because I got a question for Soldier Girl. Can we get Soldier Girl in here real quick? I got two or three questions for Soldier Girl. Where is her? Like, say something so I can add you in, girl. I got to ask you three questions real quick. Where is it? Where's she at? Because it's like, this thing is, this thing's crazy. Let's get Soldier Girl in here. Soldier Girl! And, and don't worry if y'all on the shit or bitches been on the, on the toilet all morning on the lives and shit. It's okay. Soldier Girl, where are you? I have to ask you a question. Like, you got to come in the live real quick. Because the Chance Reunion, if you guys haven't seen the Chance Reunion show um, on the Zeus Network, you got to go watch it. Um, if you don't have Zeus, the link is in my bio. You can watch it. That fucking three-part reunion. Hilarious. Absolutely epic. But there was an episode that I did watch. Oh, there she, I'm, I'm adding you. Um, hold on. There she go. Oh, my God. Look at all these requests. Hold on, guys. Let me find. I saw her. Oh, there. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to be like the reunion host right now. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. Okay, so number one, I loved you on the show. Thank you, But I already told, I, I already, I think you already knew that because I followed <laughs> you and told you you were great. No, see, I thought it was something because I had went to your page and it said unfollow me. So I was like, oof. No. So one morning I woke up because it happens every like, couple of years like it'll unfollow everyone and then i'd be like damn and i only be following like 500 people but then 500 people be so many i gotta try to find everybody and figure everybody out again it's annoying girl yeah, I was so like, now i'm at like 92 so i, I was I'm, like Ooh, maybe something happened no man. nothing happened oh okay. um, i'm gonna follow you because i think i could do it right here so look so i got two questions for you because I watched the reunion. I watched the whole motherfucking uh, season. So. Oh, this felt ugly. What happened when you were standing there at the end? You were about to win the fucking shit. What happened with the goddamn shoes? So I was already like in heels like all day that day. Okay. So like it was like late, you know, it was, like final elimination. They trying to build sus suspense, all that. And we just standing there. My ankles was just like, <laughs> I'm tired. Like You about to have me weak so, like soft. It was not the shoes. It was my ankles. It was just like, they couldn't take it no more. Like, you ever been, like, standing in a club so long and you're trying to walk back to your car, but you like, I'm not taking these heels off. I'm, I'm, I'm going to walk to my car. <laughs> That's how my feet was that night. Soldier girl, why was your fucking... <laughs> And I'm like stubborn at the same time, so they was pissing me off because I was asking to take a break. So they wanted me to fall, so I gave them what they wanted. Because why can't you let me sit down? Wait a minute, hold on. <clears throat> I felt like you were gonna win that whole fucking show. I was. And so was. all you had to do was sit down, take your shoes off, and stand there and get your hat, bitch. Like what? <laughs> it was just something that I didn't want to take my shoes off. I mean, I maybe should have took them off, but nah. <laughs> okay, so then now I have another question for some for some real tea. I watched the second part of the reunion, and one of the girls, I can't remember, I only remember some of y'all names, but one of the other girls was like, but bitch, you went back home to your, to your baby daddy, to your nigga. Did you go back home to your nigga, to your baby daddy, and like you that was the plan the whole time? And like you really didn't want chance, or did you actually have feelings for chance? And like you no, know, I was I was actually there for chance. Like when I was there, I was not with my child's father. Okay. So that's like the whole when everybody started speaking on it and talking about what they didn't know, that's what was pissing me off. Cause like y'all don't even know what y'all talking about. So no, at that time I was not with my child's father. But like I said, when Mangina was questioning me, I'm not gonna sit around sad about no nigga. I'm going to move the fuck on. So 
I went back home and me and my baby daddy was talking about working on our family and that's what we did. So you guys, if you haven't seen the Chance Reunion, it's three parts. They're all out now. It's on the Zeus Network. I was very entertained and I'm going to be very real with you. It, I'm, I'm not, I do reality TV, but I don't really have the time. I don't really get into the shows like that. There's only one clip that I could say in my whole, all these years of doing TV stuff that comes to mind when they say, what is one of your favorite scenes from a reality TV? And it was the time when Stevie J and Jocelyn, he gave, Steve, uh, he was playing the piano and he had Mimi walk in, Jocelyn, he gave them both a ring and said, we're all going to be married together. <laughs> well, that scene still to this day sticks in my head and was one of the most epic funniest fucking scenes ever because they were both like so this ring is for me and then the other bitch was like it's for me and he was like it's for all of us like it's, we're all together i've never what? seen that scene like the most <laughs> the most iconic one was to me was like hey i see you got your maid outfit on like you always like, do <laughs> right but one of that that particular scene where he was playing the piano and the, she's like so so that means we're getting married and he was like <laughs> 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 Chance, the way you guys entertained this season was like that. Like, y'all was fucking, your shoe scene, like, bro, I fell out. Um, Roly Poly it, just, it was so unexpected. Like, that was like a like a real scene. Like, that was not planned. <laughs> that was not nothing. Like, that was, I was in real life in pain. Like, that was reality. Bro, bro, like, there were so many things on Chance of Chance. They, Y'all have not seen Chance's season. Like, it's really a must. Like, go download this right now. No, yes. Yeah, so I'm telling you. Crazy. Fucking hilarious. Crazy. Like, very entertaining. So, my last question for you is, um, is, are you, are, so, are you back home in Atlanta? Or where are you? Baltimore? Yeah, I'm right? back home. I'm in Georgia. Mm hmm uh, In Georgia? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I was going to extend an invitation. I'm having a Valentine's Day big dinner for all the girls. Girls only. And for my Valentine's Day lash line, and I do this every year, though, but um, it's going to be in L.A. So if you're around Super Bowl weekend, are you coming to L.A. by any chance? Okay, yeah. If if I do, I will let you know. Yeah, let me know. Just I'll, I'll DM you, like I just told Rolly. I'm extending the invitation to some of you guys from, from Zeus, and I, I, you know, I haven't met you, or I met you at the premiere, but that was the only time, so. Yeah, that was the only time, yeah. I don't know when's the next time I'll be out there, but whenever I do, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna DM you. Okay, baby. Well, I love chatting with you. And uh, you it was nice adult. talking to you too. Best wishes to you. Okay. Keep <laughs> you doing too. your thing. All right. Babe. Have a good Sunday. Bye. See you later. I just had to tap in with the girls, guys, because there were so many questions. I don't know how to get off these things. There we go. I had to tap in with some of the girls from Chances Reunion. Zeus is epic entertainment right now. I'm telling you. Um, and I don't mind supporting other shows. I love everyone. I'm a team player. You know, I'm a team player. So if you haven't seen Chance's reunion, it's very entertaining. Go watch it. Subscribe. Links in the bio. I just, I never talked to some of the girls. So I had to tap in. Is there anyone else you guys want me to add? Yeah, I don't, it didn't sound like she's coming to LA, but it's okay. She's, she's a sweetheart. She was really sweet when I met um, her at the premiere party for Chance. She was sweet. <clears throat> Add Biggie. Oh, it's, it's, y'all, y'all trying to make me, y'all making me work right now. I'm just the, uh, the, uh, Instagram reunion host right now because I got questions. Where's Yodala? Oh yeah, and I did meet her when we did the boxing match. I met I met the girls a couple times. When the girls did the um, boxing ring thing, I did. Add Lemmy. Is Lemmy in here? BGC T2020 is Lemmy Plummer. Is Mr. Lemmy Plummer here? Lemmy is epic. Lemmy is epic. I mean, the chance. <clears throat> you guys can binge watch Chance's season 
today, Sunday, today, if you haven't seen it, it's absolutely hilarious. Um, the link's in my bio, the Zeus Network. Go watch Chance's reunion. Um, ask, oh, big, I do have questions for Big. Is she in here? Look, y'all, look, I, let me get to, let me get my notebook out and start asking some questions. Biggie, where you at? I do got a couple questions for, for Biggie, actually. Come up on here, Biggie. Where you at, girl? I got a couple questions for you. Because, you know, I watch, I've been watched the whole season. Where's she at? She's in here. Someone said, yes, yeah, she's in here. Where's her page? Biggie, I got a question for you. You have to like write something in the comments so I could like click it because I don't know. Um, there there's like something down there where you guys are sending me badges. You guys are so cute. I don't I don't know what's going on. Where's um? They said she's not on here. Oh, there's the request thing. Oh, I don't know. So I was going to ask her a question. <clears throat> I have been into the Chance show, though. That's okay. Some people don't like to go live. I mean, or whatever, you know. Maybe she didn't want to go live. Okay, well, where's Yodala? Yodala's in here. Yodala, you in here? <laughs> Ooh, Slim's in here. Where's Slim? Um. Slim be fighting. Ooh, Slim be going crazy. Thank you, Naturally Gifted 33. Thank you. Oh, that was so sweet. Thank you. Journey has the best mother. Uh, where's Slim's? Um, I don't see Slim. Well, anyways, guys, go stream and watch Chance's show. It's fucking epic. And on that note, moral of the story today was keep knocking on the door and your opportunity will come and don't be down don't get discouraged don't be upset um okay and um timing is key in life timing is key in life hey montana my bitch just came in the building Someone says she wants a request. I don't know how to request her. Like, can you write something, Slim? Write something. Tag Slim. Write something so I can click you and then I can request you. Add Biggie. Where's Biggie? That's right, Brand. Simply Brandon. Keep knocking and your door will open. Good morning, Montana. Natalie acting like a grandma. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> I had a late night last night. I'm trying to see if I could see straight. <laughs> okay, that's her name. Okay, now, okay, now say something and I'll find her. 
so much going on in here right now. There's like I'm going to just try to find her in here. Did she send a request to me? Oh, there. I think this is her. <clears throat> is this Slim? I, re I accepted it. Why are you not popping up on the screen? <clears throat> Why y'all always trying to like start shit like Slim She See? I just re accepted it. T Davis 20, 2011 bought badges. Oh my God, thank you. I just hit, uh, I um, accepted your requests. It says unavailable to join. It says you're unavailable <clears throat> unavailable to join. <clears throat> it literally just said unavailable to join. Slim send another one. I'm trying to do it. Someone said now you know how to do it. What do you mean? I, I don't care, I'm gonna add Slim. There, here's another one. Slim sent together another one. I'm trying to add her. He said she Thank was. You. There we go. It's about time. Okay. Turn the light on, Slim. Okay, I got it. I got it. Um, do y'all see me? We see you. Y'all see me? Okay. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's Hello. Up, boo? Hello. What's I love up? you. How you doing, baby? Oh, shit. Let me get this off my screen. What is I'm that on my good. screen? Good. It's good to see you again. Last it's good to I saw see you. you was at the premiere. Yes, I was excited to see you. You I know, know, I love you. I love I you too. You're so sweet. You were so cute during the Boxing Day, too. Your little ass got up in that rain star. I say, yo, she got I know, a lot fighting you... her. I had to do what I had to do. I had to slam a bitch, period. <laughs> so wait a minute. What's, what's tea? Like, I'm drinking tea. It's tea time. Everybody, this is, we're talking about the Chance Show. If you haven't watched it, you can binge watch it today. What's going on? What's tea? Like, the reunion um... over, so now what's going on? Like, drama still? Um, well, well, honestly, I would say I'm not really, I don't really, I'm not really fucking with like no drama, honestly. But I mean, of course, there's a couple bitches still speaking on my name saying what they got to say or whatever. But shit, it ain't nothing I really can do about that besides just move on and do what I got to do for myself. Like, I ain't gotta so, worry about, I'm not worried about that shit. Like, who cares? right. So they're still talking about the show or they're talking about things that have nothing to do with the show. Talking about shit that has nothing to do with the show. And they're still talking about the show. Nothing. So, Yeah. <laughs> welcome and to hollywood baby <laughs> it is what it is so it, it is this what it is go so. on for years it will yeah. keep going and going literally and going natalie literally going. like literally that's all they're going to be holding on to is that literally oh, oh i know girl i know if anyone knows i know we know you know out of all <laughs> i'd be like you know that happened you know. like i don't even be remembering bitch we said what like i know so Okay, Crazy. let me ask you a question. What's good? Like, you you came on the show, and you your your presence was really loud. I I remember the scene where you were in the hallway and you just start fighting, and it seemed like you just had so much fight in you. But did you feel like the girls were just picking at you and attacking you all the time? Because, like, yeah, you, know, you were I mean, literally yeah. going up against like sisters and like you're like i don't know if people really know but like you're really like you're not like a, one of the bigger girls in the house but like you you were, i felt like you just had to like prove something to them all the time or they just kept bullying like not really bullying i don't know like i don't want to say those words but like picking at you and mm -hmm. do, do you feel like you were there not even really getting your chance with ch with chance because that's all you how I feel. Was arguing with the girls all the time. That's that's how I, that's how I feel for real. Because it's kind of like it's just like I didn't really get to like know him. I didn't really get to like 
I mean, I spent some time with him, but it wasn't like how I wanted to. And it was because I was always dealing with drama. I was always dealing with the bitches, the bitches talking shit, trying to trying to get me out the crib. So it was just like I was dealing with that. I wasn't like, you know, I wasn't able to like do what I really wanted to do with him. And it was just like it, it kind of sucked and it was unfortunate. But I mean, it was just like, hey, I, I had to f <laughs> do what I had to do. I ain't no bitch. I ain't no punk. So and I mean, if you're in a house with 17 other girls, what yeah come on now it's gonna be drama like come on so now who like, did you not who was the one girl in the house that you had the most beef with again but it was like it wasn't like it was like we was cool hey slim my phone overheated it said it was the temperature was hot so let me get her back in really quick so that um i could finish my conversation with slim and then I don't know the windows right here and it is really hot in LA today, but it said my phone overheated. So I don't want to be rude because I did have another question for her. So Slim, if you're in the live, hi Jacob. Hi honey. My husband's in the live. Hi honey. Sorry, Slim, my phone always said temperature overheated and it turned off. And it just came back. So let me add her back real quick so I can ask her a question. Hey Jazz. Let me add her back. Big Nat. Big Jazz. I want to add her back. She was. It was oh, like. We, we was cool. It's the girl. The whole fuck. Chances show. Um, you good? Yeah. So. So. I was going to ask you one more question. So. I, I don't got no problems with. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> like. I had the problems when I went in the house. Uh, we all got through our shit. We all good. We cool. We it, it is what it is. It's just the bitch right. that I fought in the boxing match. She's the one that she's mad because she got her ass beat, and that's the one that I don't like, and I would never fucking like. Period. And when I see wait, her song, is like, that one? Always. That's, wait, wait. That's one of the sisters. No, that's that's the the one I fought in the boxing match. I'm cool with the sisters. I've been cool with the sisters since like before the show ended. That's what a lot of people don't know. We've been worked out our shit, like. Girl, because the way you ran up on him in the hallway, though. <laughs> yeah, because that Sorry, was when he was in the house. I know, I know. I know, but we worked through all that, and we spoke about that. Yeah, I got to go watch Cancer Show. No, hell no. The way you ran in the hall. I say, yo, hold on. That's not funny. None <laughs> of it, but it's just very entertaining. Like, it's yes. not funny. It's just very entertaining. This show was very funny to me. Me and my husband would Here. sit up and watch fucking episodes in the bed and be the fuck dying since like the whole show was just comedy to me but um okay so who which one of the I can't remember which I can't remember Dottie she, yeah don't, she's a nobody yeah, no she's don't nobody. do that she, don't yeah, do it's that okay, it's okay Natalie don't You're do nobody. that okay. tell me what she what she only oh, wrote me because I beat her ass the one with the curly hair she had the curly uh uh yeah, I oh, the afro? No, no, no. She was gone. No, not her. Oh shit! I don't know. Who no, you're I know. About. I know who you're talking about, though. I liked her, though. What happened, Dottie? I liked her. She was cool. I thought she was cool too. I thought, but yeah. she the one that let people get to her with the fucking damn show, and then she she felt how she felt, and then she's just like a she just she talks too much shit. Like, stay off the internet. Just stay off the internet. Because mm. if you can't back up what you say on the internet in person, then come on now. You gonna fight her when you see her? <laughs> Whenever I see her, shit. Lower. Oh, Whoever so knows me, like they gonna see the bitch again. We ain't gonna see the bitch on TV. We ain't gonna see the bitch on TV on a set again. So, bitch, when am I gonna see you? Cause you ain't gonna meet up with me. Cause you definitely didn't meet up with Yodela. Oh. She had to run up on. She had to. She had to literally go bitch you at a man. Get the fuck out of here, yo. Yodela uh, ran up on her somewhere. No, Yodela didn't run up on her. Well, I don't know what, what Yodela did, but I know she uh. It was some type, she, I think uh, Miko was performing somewhere, and Yodala, I don't know, she went to her shit, and she had her Yodala music playing. Yodala pulled up? Yes, she before. had her music playing at her, wherever she was, wherever Miko was performing her music, so Yodala crazy. pulled up and had her music playing, and so bitch that bitch, like, it was, cr I was laughing, but I still had her back then, because I was still cool with her, but shit, look now, so it is what the fuck it is, but that shit was funny as hell. No, it was. So where are you now? What, what, what? Uh, I'm what, in Maryland. Oh yeah, I'm that's from right. Maryland. That's right. I remember. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I will well, be in LA this month. Yeah, are you coming for Super Bowl? I was thinking about it. I was thinking about coming the following week, but I was thinking about coming that weekend because a lot of people want me to come out that weekend instead. So I'm like, mm. yeah. So but I'm let like, me know if you come.
I'm extending out, you know, all the Zeus girls and stuff are always, but I'm going to, I rented out a restaurant. It's like really cute in Beverly Hills. I've done my Valentine's lash parties in the past and I'm going to have um, a dinner instead of a brunch this year. Okay. And uh, it's going to be super, super cute. So okay. just let me know if you're in the area in town, Super Bowl weekend, and then okay. we'll, we'll have fun and all that. Yes. I don't want to well, get into okay. more messy stuff with you guys. I, I really wasn't trying to, I, I was extremely entertained with Chance's show this year. <laughs> and I don't really get that entertained with reality TV that often. Yeah, too, and baby. so I just wanted to tap in with you guys. All of you girls, I wish nothing but the best for all of you. I Thank wasn't you. on the show. I don't hate anybody. I'm right. not trying to stir the pot. I literally was a viewer oh, I know. watching the, the day, show. It's no hate. It. At the end of the day, it's no hate. It was just a show, bro. It was literally just a show. That's why I tried, tried not to take everything personally. But when it came to certain shit, it's just like, bitch, you're not about to play with me. But at the end of the day, it's just a show, and it was fun. And of course, like I had, I had an awesome time. And I know. Rose Polly said, "Slim, my baby, we love the whole show. You guys did a great job. I hope you guys like, you know, uh, like uh, do stuff afterwards. All of you. Like, oh, we got you know? to. Don't yeah, worry. it was Don't a big worry. show, and and you guys really should take it and run with it. And and everybody did, keep telling people to watch it. It's it was it's like so entertaining. Yes, because there's a lot of people that I know that are still just finding out. Like a you know, oh my god, like da -da -da. so it's just like yeah. So yeah. everybody, if you don't haven't seen Chance's show, this is Slim from the show, and because my platform is a little bit different than than say the. The, just the Zeus people, but mm -hmm. I want you guys to watch the show because I was actually very entertained by it, and I like know these girls. Yep. Plus, I feel like from the show because I'm like slim. So now when you ran up on her in the hallway, <laughs> like I feel like I, you know, like so yeah, you you mm -hmm. guys all did a really good job. Thank um, you so much, Natalie. I, yeah. That means so much coming from you. Literally, you yeah, have you no guys... idea. I've been watching you since I was like, yo, like a, te a teenager. So I'm just like, yo, this is so like crazy. Like, no, you guys like, did a good wow. job, and I'm not very entertained by reality TV that often. Maybe because mm -hmm. of new TV, but I I was up with my husband watching like episodes, and we put Jenny <laughs> to bed, and we'd watch some of the episodes, and. And I would be in fucking tears, like rolling off the floor. Jacob, a few times, I caught him cracking the fuck up too. I'm like, bro, he, he <laughs> like rewind the clip. And he doesn't, he definitely don't give a fuck about reality TV. He just right. supports what I do. Right. But he was like, yo, what? Right. <laughs> it was right. Crazy. So you guys That's crazy, are great, okay? Yes. Thank and, you so uh, much. And uh, let me know if you come out for Super Bowl. Okay. I definitely will. Thank you so much, right. Natalie. Bless you. Have a great Sunday, baby. Thank you, baby. Thank you. So yeah, um, that's it, guys. I'm not about to do these. Interviews. I'm not. It's not an interview day. But when you actually do really become like a fan of the show, like I'm really a fan of that season of Chance's show. I like was watching and I have questions. If Biggie is in the room, I do have questions for Biggie. <laughs> I do. I do have questions for Biggie. Where is Biggie? Biggie, I do. If you're in here, I swear I do need to ask you like two questions from the show. Please come to the live. Please raise your hand so I can add you. Biggie, where you at? Is she in here? Where's Biggie? I do want to add Biggie. No, I'm not being messy. I really be watching the show. I swear. This show got me this year. I don't even, I'm not like a TV junkie like that, but I watched, I watched Chance Show. And if you guys haven't watched it, the link's in my bio, because I was extremely entertained. Biggie, she's saying she's not in here. Why are you running from my live girl? I'm looking at the request. Why are you running from my live, girl? All right, well, I guess I really had a question for you, too, actually. All right, well, she don't want to come on the live. I, it wasn't a bad question. All of you guys did so good. I don't want you to think I'm like, I'm not, I'm, it was, you were, there was a scene that I really want to ask you about. Can you, if you're in the live, can you just push something? I'm in my robe. I'm in, my black eyeliner is running. 
if you're not together, it don't matter. Bitches was taking shits on the live earlier. Ah, I don't know. I don't know if she's in here. Yeah, I just told Jacob to come in my live. <laughs> I just told Jacob to come in my live. I told Jacob, come in my live. Honey, Jacob, baby, come to the live. I want to ask you who your favorite was on Chance's show, because I made you watch it so many times. <laughs> come to my live, Jacob. I'm Halloween, bro. I cannot with this show. Bro, have y'all seen this show? Yes or no? No, I'm like about to start crying. And then they showed the picture on the TV screen. <laughs> Nobody was in the laundry room with me. So, yeah. I just hated that they, like, tried to take it and make it be something big, like, just for the camera. So I was just like, no, it didn't happen. Because like, you're saying I'm stepping in dick. Girl, you be thing. over there like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I be believing you when I watch the show, though. I'm like, she, why, guys, what are you talking about? Why do y'all keep trying her like this? I be believing you. Yeah. Biggie. Yeah. <laughs> You're a bad girl. It was great, but I feel really bad because I didn't even really get his number or anything. He kind of left the next day. <laughs> they kicked you out and you didn't get the security guard's phone number? No. <laughs> well, how did you find him? He was there. Like, he was just all around in the house. And he's, I like, like, the quiet, like, like, mysterious kind of guys. And, like, I was drunk when I was horny. So, like, I was just really feeling it. And so is he. And he was just there in the house. He 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 probably got. I mean, yeah, that's what I think too. 
Yeah, you can't. I felt really bad. So, like, I wish I had his number to be like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Like, ugh. so sorry I got you fired. But but it was a great room. time. But the laundry room was a great time. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. <laughs> so, overall, like, how, who did you come out with from the show that, like, you really fucked with? Just one person that you just, like, your bitch. Well, there's, like, three of them. Okay. Five. But Yodala, Khadija, and... And who was the last one? Yodala, Khadija, and Skittles, I meant. Oh, Skittles. Okay. Oh, yeah, Skittles. Where's Skittles at? Yeah, she's in Atlanta right now. Yeah, I loved her, too. She was... She had the uh, cute... Like, her hair. I like the scene where she was right... When you guys were out... Um, at the, like, I don't know, the stables or whatever, and y'all had to, like, dance for him. I don't yeah. know why he said her titties looked like they were hard. They were, her titties Her titties, titties are so fire. Like, yeah, her titties look good. I was like, her titties. titties. Maybe it's just me getting a little older. I want my titties all the way to fuck up here, too. <laughs> As you get older. Here's my number one promoter, Skeet. Get in my live right now. Where? Skeet, where you at? Skeet, where you at? Y'all, I'm about to I'm about to add Skeet to this live right now. The number one motherfucking promoter, lit motherfucking promoter, all the clubs on lock in LA. Oh my god. Oh, hold on. My nephew's in the live. Princeton, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Payne and Journey. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Cheeks. Good morning, Ignacio. Oh, Ignacio, I got to talk to you after. Because I was on set all day yesterday, so I got I to gotta tell you something. About, y'all sending me badges. I don't even know, like, y'all are so cute. Y'all sending me badges. <laughs> Cry, baby. Simply Brandon, I love you guys so much. So, anyways... What I was saying was, hi, Princeton. Princeton, don't, don't, what? Don't, don't do that. Get off the internet. Don't say those kind of things or they're going to kick you off the internet. And Uncle Jacob's about to call you right now. You need to behave when you come on live. This is why, you know what? I'm about to say something about that. My little nephew is the same age as Northwest. And this uh, like, he don't even know, like, Princeton, you're just typing things. This is why Kanye is going crazy right now. You're going to get in trouble by your dad. I'm going to tell you that right now, Princeton. Right now. But anyways, this is why Kanye West is going crazy right now about North being on TikTok and being on all these platforms. Like, you're too young. Princeton, like, I'm going to have Uncle Jacob call my brother right now. You're going to get in trouble. Get off the internet. <laughs> Oh, my God. And they're the same age. Princeton and North were like, I remember when Kim was pregnant with North. They were pregnant with Princeton. And my brother is very strict, just like Kanye West. Like, no, you don't need to be on the Internet writing random things. I agree. <laughs> like, Princeton, you in trouble, bro. You, you already know. That's why he ain't responding anymore. <laughs> Who I'm finna have Uncle Jacob call on you? Auntie is a whole snitch today. <laughs> no, I'm not blocking my nephew from my lives. That's like my little that's like my little son. That's my my son. But he know he ain't supposed to be on there just writing crazy shit. What's up, JR? Come do my makeup today. It's Sunday fun day. I'm finna check out of my hotel, guys. I'm moving into my house here in L.A. for the next two months. I'm excited. Um, shout out to the Zeus Network. I got a little crib. Shout out to Zeus Network. They got me a car like a bitch. Got a car like.
it was right like now. my was cool. um <clears throat> my phone keeps overheating grand morning live for you guys and my phone keeps saying it's overheating and the tea is just too hot but i i just had to i just sometimes you know when you become like a fan of a show my, one of my favorite shows this year or you know was chance on the zeus network so i really want to give it up for chance you guys got me you guys got me zeus you got me for my 4.99 i definitely fucking subscribe so anyways um yeah if you guys want to watch what I'm t i was doing my lives about today um chance show zeus network baddies season two is coming if you want to binge watch bad girls season one you can binge watch it also on zeus and bad boys season one is coming to zeus also so with that being said with my bonnet on let me make sure all y'all get in the live with my bonnet on <clears throat> here's what i'm going to do today okay i have a link that I'm going to put in my bio for today only. This link is a link that allows you to tell me what you viewers want to see from the Bad Boys show. Your clips, I need you to be camera ready. There's also a release form that's going to go be attached with your video that you upload because your clip could possibly be on a, um, on um, the show so what I'm doing is I want to hear from you guys what you want to see from the cast there's a uh, it's a it's gonna take you to a page the link with the Zeus Network You have a few words. bad boys to blah, 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 blah. Very short. It's very short, okay? There's also a release form attached to when you upload the video. When you upload the video, you're going to sign the release form as well. Right there, the document. Because it's a, it's a release form in case we use opportunities. Of course. Yes. And nobody was biased. Nobody was biased. So, cool. Well, there's not really... I don't need ideas. So, the link that... You, you follow the instructions. I'm going to give you guys until, say, 2 o'clock my time. That's when I'll drop the link so you guys can get ready. Because it could potentially be on the show. So, I want you guys to come camera ready. Whatever that means in your world. You could put a bonnet on. But you see, I'm live right now. Oh, that wasn't very nice. Someone said, hopefully you catch COVID so that you... so confused sometimes like it blows me it really does but anyways maybe we should have called it baddies with Nat. i don't know because i didn't put my name in the title like i know the other girls on the network have done that but it's so much easier when it's not your name to sell license do other fun things with but it doesn't matter again i don't i didn't take your comment personal i didn't take it personal I love you too. Thank you for tuning into my live. Um, but this view today, I really want you guys to see this fucking view. Like, what? This view.